All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with only a professional record of 13 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Frankie Sai! And now, if you his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grimpy Rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick up fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, strong punch there by Sainz. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, and he caught the kick. in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Forward, forward, forward. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Nice one-two there. 
timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Signs gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Back out of there. Back out of there now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Leg kick. Oh, wow! Head kick! That one appeared to stun him. What is Oh! Back to the feet! Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check it, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab on it. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, here comes the counter just out of range. does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, what a punch. to the body there. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. There's the jab, then another. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his arm going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Big punch land. Boom. The hard, horn hard, sounds hard, for hard, the hard. end of round one. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him in the afternoon tonight. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Oh, 
Oh, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Luke. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. You got to check these low leg kicks. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. He has a bit of the tonight, and it shows. Oh, boy, what a shot. Come on. You're okay. Give me some head movement. Give me some head movement. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, what a heavy lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice straight punch. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Signs his lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in this. Oh! Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. Gets up again here, but hurting. He might be out. Oh, nice right That's a nice one, too. Great punch. Beautiful body. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Try to establish that jab. That was a nice strike. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out. And before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Over and over, he's landing a big body. Just out of range with that left hook. Hard shots landing on both sides here. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Combinations here. He's out. He got him. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is after Ladies the huge gentlemen. knockout Definitely turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC two. career. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.
Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there.